The main difference between true fruits and false fruits lies in their origin. True fruits develop solely from the ovary of the flower. The ovary matures and ripens to form the fleshy fruit wall, while the seeds develop within. Examples of true fruits include mango, tomato, grapes, berries, citrus fruits and more. On the other hand, false fruits develop from other floral parts besides the ovary, typically the thalamus, receptacle or floral tube. These other parts enlarge and become fleshy, while the true ovary wall may be thin or absent. Examples of false fruits include apple, strawberry, cashew apple, banana and others. To summarize the key differences, true fruits originate from the ovary only, while false fruits develop from other floral parts along with the ovary or sometimes without it. True fruits have their ovary mature and form the fruit wall, while false fruits have other floral parts enlarge and become fleshy. Both true and false fruits may have seeds, although they may be absent in some cases. Some examples of true fruits are mango, tomato, grapes and berries, while examples of false fruits include apple, strawberry, cashew apple and banana. It's important to note that false fruits often have a more diverse and complex structure compared to true fruits. Both true and false fruits play a crucial role in plant reproduction as they attract animals who disperse the seeds through their droppings. Additionally, some fruits, like the pineapple, are a combination of true and false fruits. The fleshy part we eat is formed from the fused bracts, while the true fruit develops from the ovary and forms the eyes on the pineapple surface. I hope this clarifies the difference between true and false fruits.